Hey everyone, it's my last day of winter break and I am folding laundry and I had finally folded, I'm about to fold my summer quilt. And the thing is, one of the projects I wanted to do was to patch this quilt because it is at least 50 years old. All right, my husband's grandmother made this for his mom, or she might have made it for herself, because so it could very well be pushing a hundred years old. All right, and while I don't have the things to preserve it, like as you see here, it's been wearing and tearing. And years ago, my mother and I used to patch up quilts with, um, or my mother would with like denim patches and stuff. I have this piece of felt that I'm going to cut because this is one of the larger rips, as you can see. And I'm going to cut this, but I'm going to cut like flowers and stuff to make like a scene to sew onto here. But for the smaller, and like this will be another one where I have to have a large patch and it probably has to go all tempting. Like I might just replace all of that fabric. Um, here, I have iron-on patches that I'm actually going to pin on here. And this is going to wait until the summer. So I'm going to place these patches all over. And I'm going to see you at summertime when I start sewing on these little patches. Like, see, here's a small one right here. I could just... And I could iron these on, but I feel like sewing them would make it more... Um, you know, make it more stable. And like big ones like these, I do have a nice red fabric from the quilt I made my husband for our 20th anniversary. Um, I'm going to replace it there. And because this is like a summer quilt, I'm not going to worry about replacing the, um, uh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It's morning and I'm really tired. Um, you know, the quilting, the batting. I'm not going to worry about replacing the batting, but I do want to replace, you know, the fabric here to try to preserve the essence of the original blanket. So, um, so far, I'm just going to use these little guys to replace the small holes and then um, the big holes I will replace. So, I'm just giving you an idea of what I'm doing. I will see you later in the summer with the result. So believe it or not, this is months later after I initially pinned down all of the patches. Um, <laughs> there's my dog right there. Hashtag Galinda the Princess Pop on Instagram. Um, uh, so this is the final product. What I ended up doing was I ironed on, actually this is probably the one, only one that I sewed on to the bed. I did iron it after one, afterwards. All the other ones, I ironed them and then sewed them on. And my husband was like, why are you ironing these on? Why, why don't you just iron them? Why are you sewing them? Because this is gonna go through the wash machine. And I don't think just ironing is going to leave it on here. So if you look around, we have various, oh, we have Hank here too. Um, I think they came out really good. The issue is I still have many, many more holes on here, but it's like halfway through the summer and I really want to get this on my bed for the summer. So what I'm probably going to do is look through my scraps and if anybody is familiar with quilting, please leave your comments below. But I'll probably just take portions and make fabric patches on like these really big ones. And I'm debating, I'm debating getting bias tape or something to just go over this or maybe slowly replacing these one by one. The point is, this is a nearly, oh no, this is a 50 year, because that's right, my daughter, this is an over 50 year old quilt. My, my husband's grandmother made this. I want to try to preserve as much as the original quilt as possible, but places like here, I will need to replace with um, fabric. And even the batting underneath is very thin and threadbare. So in order to try to save as much batting as I can, 
I want to start putting on patches. And I started out with like the butterfly and flower patches because I had, ex I think I explained before my mom had done um, patches with like regular patches. She made her own, she actually back then made her own patches and she patchworked a blanket that we had years ago. And that just meant a lot to me. I do have a thing for patches, but I think for some of these, I need to do um, pieces of fabric that at least stay within this theme, but um, help preserve as much as this as I can. I mean, I could eventually maybe replace these or have these underneath and put fabric over them. That could be a good idea. I don't know. I have to play around with it, but for now, this will hold it up along with Galinda. Um, this will hold it up really well having these patches and I'm ha see look even this one has a really like this will have to be the whole square needs to be replaced so if I ever do make patches for these I think I will do a video of that but for right now this is a good quick fix it on um, patching it and like I said I just I pinned them where I wanted them ironed them and then I sewed on with my sewing machine use the strongest needle you have because I might have broke a couple with these. All right. Have fun. Say bye, Galinda.